We're now going to do a short section on wiring. We're going to show you the tools, terminals and methods that we use in our workshop. To demonstrate these methods, we're going to make up a small loom to wire this light and this switch. Using the simple British Standard 7 colour code, we've made up this short loom and tagged the ends for easy identification. We have temporarily bound the loom with masking tape. We've got here black for earth, three greens which are ignition fed auxiliary feeds, you've got R there for reverse, S for stop lights and IR for indicator right and the red is your tail light. This combination rear light has a bulb holder inside which has five quarter inch spade terminals on. We're going to wire this up now. First you feed your wires through the grommet in the back of your light. You then need to strip about a quarter of an inch of the insulation from each wire. We now cut one inch length of heat shrink to slip onto the wire. Next, we twist and fold the copper strands. This F crimp female spade terminal has two crimping areas. One for the insulation and one for the copper strands. And this crimping tool has specially machined jaws to accurately crimp the terminal. It also has a jig for holding the terminal in place whilst crimping. You insert the wire so the insulation is aligned with the first crimp and the copper aligned with the second. You then tightly squeeze the handles of the tool. And there you have a perfect crimp, which you can leave like that, or as we do, solder it. The secret to successful soldering is to keep a clean, prepared tip. We achieve this by using tinning compound, which cleans the tip, and a wet sponge. We've clamped a small crocodile clip in the vise as a third hand. This will help you when you're soldering. You first need to tin the iron, hold the iron on the job until it gets hot, and then feed the solder into the job, not the iron. To activate the heat shrink, you can use a regular DIY paint stripping gun. Once your joint is cooled, slide the heat shrink to the end of the terminal and warm it with the gun. We now Connect all the wires to the bulb holder. These are the components of a multi pin plug and socket. We install these in any section of a wiring loom where we may want to remove a component at a later date. They're available in 2 pin, 3 pin, 4 pin, or what you see here, 6 pin. We have soldered the female terminals onto the end of our loom. This time we're going to slide the heat shrink to just before
the spade section. Installing heat shrink to here reinforces the joint and also gives you a nice finish to whatever insulation you choose to use. You then simply push the terminals into the plug. All you need to do is make sure that the wires match on each side of the plug and socket. This is a solder sucker. Here's how it works. This is a soldered joint that we want to take apart. First, press the plunger on the sucker. You then heat the joint to melt the solder. Put the sucker on the joint and press the release button. You can then pull your wire out. 